Hey everybody, it's a whole cop. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, thanks for stopping by. We're gonna be going on a ride today up to a scenic location in North Jersey that I've never been to before. And we're gonna be touching on a hot button topic on social media about Jersey's famous breakfast meat. Is it Taylor ham? Is it pork roll? I'll give you my thoughts on it. Got a few stops to make. I got a little bit of ride to do, so I'm gonna keep this short. We're gonna get on the road. I got the Harley all gassed up. I got my Easy Pass, and I'm filled with coffee. So let's get going. See you down the road. All right, everybody. We are heading to our first location. Now, uh, to show you the type of research I did to find this place, I just Googled best diners in Southern New Jersey, and I picked from the top five. Now, I'm not gonna name this place just in case the food doesn't turn out exactly as I uh, expected, if it isn't that good. I'm not a food critic, I'm just some knucklehead on the internet, and uh, you know, I don't wanna blow anybody's spot up. So, we're on our way there now. I'll get a sandwich, let you know what I think, and then we'll head on and do our ride for the rest of the day. Stay tuned. Okay, so it turns out I do remember being at that place. I ate there a long, long time ago. Didn't have the Taylor ham, egg and cheese, or pork roll, egg and cheese, as it's known here in South Jersey. I had an omelet. It was a great omelet. You know, very good food. I can't, I can't complain about it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the name of the place um, for reasons you'll see later on down the road, uh, later on in the video. But uh, I'll tell you that there seemed to be a lot of locals in the place. The staff was very friendly. And like I said, I've eaten there before. The food's very good. Um, I think you'll understand what I'm talking about when you see the sandwich that I got there. So needless to say, I won't be naming the business in this video. But there's more to come. The other two businesses that I'm going to, I've been to before. They're well known. And I'll tell you where they are when we get there. All right, guys, it's our second stop. This place really needs no introduction. Uh, you can't have a discussion about Taylor ham pork roll, pork roll Taylor ham, and not throw this place in. That's right, Slater's. Everybody here in New Jersey knows it. So this bit is just for people who are not familiar with it. Come see why. Now, I'm gonna wait till later to do a complete comparison of these sandwiches, but this, I couldn't wait. You gotta see it if you're not familiar with it. Just look at that. That's half of a sandwich. Just look at that thing. That's enough food for like a family of five. I'm going into AFib just holding it. All right, let's get back on the road to our next location. Well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, a little tree trimming. I thought maybe somebody took out a telephone pole. Oh, well. All right, everybody, we're at our third and final stop up in North Jersey. If you're coming for a Taylor ham and cheese sandwich, I'm bringing you to the best place that I know, the Greeks. And if you're doing any diner food at all, nobody does it better than the Greeks. After all, they invented everything, stupid. Let's go get something to eat. See you in a minute. got our sandwiches we're all set we've got a nice location we're at a picnic table let me tell you what I think about the whole Taylor ham pork roll debate both are correct and I'll tell you why in South Jersey they tend to call it pork roll this is the first sandwich that I got in South Jersey now I live in Tom's River I consider that South Jersey but I recognize that a lot of people don't so I went south of Ocean County to get this sandwich um, I googled it. It was a well-known place. I will tell you, I don't want to bash a business, but I will tell you that there were a lot of people in there. Most of them seemed local. The, uh, all the people that worked there were friendly and uh, they seemed to know each other like it was a local business and they were doing good business. But this is the sandwich I got. It's a roll with a single piece of pork product on it. There's some egg on there and then there's white American cheese, which looks like mayo. Now, I've had, I've had one there before it's a good sandwich, but it's the type of thing that you eat 
with it sitting on your lap on your way to work in between red lights. Um, it's something you want to have in your stomach just so you don't get a caffeine headache and to make sure your 10 o'clock bathroom break is a sit down situation, if you know what I'm talking about. Now this on the other hand, this is Taylor ham. This is what people in the North think when they talk about Taylor ham egg and cheese. This isn't a sandwich. This is a piece of art, a piece of culinary art. It's magnificent. Um, so much so is the picture of your wall of uh, the Manhattan skyline that you got at Ikea or the beach scene that you got at Target. That's a picture, that's a decoration. But a Basquiat, a Monet, that's art. This is art. This is a sandwich. When your loved ones or your friends come to town, you're gonna bring them to a place like this and they're gonna have an experience. Or you're gonna go out and get it and you're gonna bring it home and they're gonna wake up, eat it, and years from now they're gonna be like, man, what was that great place you went to and they got that great sandwich? And you're gonna remember it. It's a story, it's nostalgia. This is legend. So that's the difference, in my opinion, of Taylor ham, egg and cheese versus pork roll. Now, we can't hate on our friends to the South. They don't know any better. They grew up with sand in their toes, walking down the beach midway, the boardwalk. They had a balloon in one hand and they had some cotton candy in the other and they thought they were having a grand old time. So that's where they're coming from. God love them, but that's how they feel about it. But we know the difference. Now, I'm not afraid to admit I'm wrong. There is a anomaly in this and that's Slater's. Slater's puts an inappropriate amount of meat on their sandwiches. They use yellow cheese, but when you go in there and you order this sandwich, it is listed as pork roll. Now, Slater's would be in an area of the state that some would consider Central Jersey, but that's not an argument we're getting into today. No, no, no. We're talking about pork roll versus Taylor and Megan cheese. Now, if Slater's can call, call their sandwich pork roll, so be it. However, when most people are talking about pork roll, they're talking about this. They think going north is Fort River in Southern Ocean County. They don't go past Point Pleasant. For everyone else, it's this. So one thing I forgot to mention is the price of these sandwiches. I got this one in South Jersey at my first stop with a cup of coffee and it was a little over 10 bucks. I got the Slater sandwich alone this isn't extra meat or any extra anything, by the way. This is the standard sandwich, and it was a little over 11 bucks. And then I got this one at the Greeks, under $10. I'm gonna eat a sandwich right now, but there's no way I'm gonna be able to eat this food and survive, so I'll be sharing a lot of it with some of my friends later on when I get home. So I'm gonna eat, and then we're gonna go for a ride, and I'll see you later. So we're here on this uh, Henry Hudson Scenic Road. We're just leaving the boat launch and picnic area. A lot of bicyclists here today. It's a pretty steep incline too. It's probably a good workout. We're here in the middle of the week though, so it's probably much busier during the week. Now, unfortunately, it seems like this, uh, I'll show you here. The continuation of this road is closed. The cliffs here are so steep, it's probably like a landslide or they need road work, I uh, would suspect. There's a lot of tall growth along here, so you can't really get that good of a view at this point. There were some turnouts on the parkway that were pretty scenic, but the parkway itself was the same way. Uh, a lot of tall growth, really couldn't see the, the river or across over into New York. There's a loping space here. I bet you there's a lot of this on this road closure. You see where the uh, side fell in? All right, now that we're done with our breakfast, we're riding up by the Palisades. Area New Jersey I've never been to before. And uh, getting up here, I figured out why. It's a pain in the ass. Traffic is awful. That's why I didn't record anything. 
I should have brought the gold wing because uh, the stop and go traffic by the George Washington Bridge was a nightmare. Now I'm sure there's easier ways to get here, but not being familiar with the area, I used Google. But you can't beat this view. Fantastic. All right, let's get up on the road, do some riding, see what's next. Okay, we're heading to State Line Lookout for a scenic view. See how this is. Oh good, this is open. Let's see what's going on here. So I'm here at the Scenic Overlook. See, it's very scenic. Uh, there's like a walking trail here if you're hiking or walking with somebody, it seems all right. Um, back at the marina, I saw a lot of bicycles. It wasn't a very long trail, but it was very steep. So if you like those type of workouts, it's right up your alley. As far as motorcycling through here, eh, I mean, the Palisades Parkway was, was nice. There wasn't a lot of traffic on it. It was smooth, it was paved well. It was a lot better than the ride up here. But uh, to get all the way up here, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna, a couple more stops I'm gonna make along the way. If there's anything worth seeing, I'll put it up here. Now, um, I don't know that much about this area, but I'm pretty sure that Nine West, which was that exit we just, just passed, will take you up into the Hudson Valley. It's very scenic up there, it's beautiful up there. But that's a video for another time. We're gonna start heading back now because it's getting pretty late in the day. I don't want to hit rush hour traffic on my way back down the parkway because that could be murder. All right, everybody. Um, <clears throat> that's all I got time for this week. If you like what you see, if it was your first time stopping by, remember like, subscribe, Google me. I'm a whole cop on all social media. I do stuff every week. I told you I was bringing home some Taylor ham to share with my friends, and here he is. This is Elmer. Loves Taylor ham. I'm not going to give him too much of it. Don't worry about it. Uh, my other one ran inside. She's a little, she's probably a little afraid. Um, but remember, like, subscribe, follow, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.